Hi there. Okay, um, well sometimes we have problems where a system of objects, maybe like a person on a cart, is moving along with some velocity, and then at some point one of the objects begins to move independently, like the person will start walking forward. Um, in these problems we can use the translational motion of center mass idea um, and talk about how the center mass moves and then how each object moves. To do this, we're going to use a not-so-well-published equation that's um, very powerful and actually pretty easy to derive. Uh, what we're going to start with is the derivation of center mass. So we know that x center mass equals m1 x1 plus m2 x2 over the total mass. Uh, so that's pretty easy. And then if we know that the position's like that, uh, we can say that the final position of each of these x1 final, x2 final, and center mass final. Um, that would be a valid equation. And then we can use the same equation with the initial uh, center mass. So we could say that x center mass initial equals m1 x center mass, or x1 final plus m2 x2 final all over the total mass. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually subtract these two equations. Um, so I'm going to take the first one minus the second one. So this gives me x center mass final minus x center mass initial equals m1 x1 final plus m2 x2 final minus m1 x1 initial plus m2 x2 initial. And since they have the same denominator mass, total mass, total, it's all over that denominator mass total. And I just realized these should have been initials from the beginning. And hopefully what you see what's happening here is that we're going to end up with delta x's. Final minus initials delta x. So we have delta x center mass equals, here's m1 final and m1 x initial. So that's m1 delta x1. And here's x2 final and x2 initial, so that's plus m2 x2, oops, delta x2, all over the mass total. And then one last piece is I'm going to divide everything by the time. So divided by delta t, divided by delta t, divided by delta t. And we know that delta x over delta t is velocity. So what this leaves us with is that we have velocity center mass equals m1 velocity 1 plus m2 velocity 2 over the total mass. Uh, in velocity center mass, that's what the whole thing was going at before anything even happened. That's the original velocity of everything. Uh, and then what you might be told is that the person, uh, velocity the person, might start walking forward maybe and that's going to be equal to like v which is given but this really is person ground so what we want is the velocity of the person ground is going to be equal to the velocity of the person to the cart plus velocity cart ground you got to remember this um relative velocity thing so pay attention to what you're given are you given the velocity of the person ground then use that but if you're normally given the velocity of the person to the cart, then you have to get person, cart, cart, ground. And then cart, ground is also going to be this V2 here. So what this is going to end up looking like when we combine everything together is that we're going to get the velocity center mass equals M1 times some velocity V that the person moves along the cart plus V2 that would be this is v, this is v2, because we're calling the cart object 2, plus mass 2, v2, over mass total. And again, when you're going through and solving for this, then usually you know the center mass velocity at the beginning. You know the mass of the person, the mass of the cart, so you can know the mass total. And then you're often looking for what would be the velocity of the cart after the person's walking or something like that. So that's this V2 piece. 
And then this V is the person's velocity as they walk on the cart, so that would be known. So then you could just go through the algebra and solve for V2 equals. One final thing, this equation here could also be proven uh, looking at conservation of momentum. Uh, so if you're interested in that, let me know and I can make a video to show you how to get this from conservation of momentum. And as always, I love making videos. If there's anything you'd like to see, uh, let me know and I'll make something for you.